In today's news, a French firm is to install internet lighting on the Paris metro. Researchers claim blue LED shortens the shelf life of milk. And London unveils a lavish plan to transform the Thames into a river of light. Lux Today is brought to you in association with GUI, and it starts in just a moment, so stick around. Hello and welcome to Lux Today for June 21st. I'm Courtney Ferguson. A Li-Fi system that uses light to provide internet access for commuters on the Paris Metro is to be installed by France-based company OLEDCOM. Li-Fi is powered by thousands of LED luminaires and will be introduced into 66 stations around the Paris transport network. When the system becomes operational, the city will be the first in the world to offer Li-Fi internet services to over 2 million commuters. OLEDCOM has installed similar systems in offices, hospitals, stores, and public street lighting. However, Li-Fi signals are unable to travel as far as Wi-Fi. LED might be improving commutes, but the same can't be said for your morning coffee. Researchers at Cornell University New York have published a report that claims LED lighting might be turning your morning yogurt sour. The academics found that exposure to LED in grocery cases for as little as four hours can have a negative impact on the quality of refrigerated milk. Those involved in the study described dairy products exposed to LED lighting as tasting like cardboard. The blue light in LEDs was discovered to be the culprit, however researchers added that the luminaires were only able to degrade the quality of milk, not spoil it. LEDs certainly won't be spoiling London's spectacular bridges. The city's new mayor, Sadiq Khan, has announced a multi-million dollar plan to transform the Thames into a river of light. The scheme will see some of London's most famous bridges, including Tower Bridge, lit up in an impressive nighttime display. The hope is that the project will transform the look and identity of London, one of the world's largest cities. City Hall is inviting lighting designers to submit environmentally friendly and visually stimulating ideas for the scheme. That wraps things up. Lux Today has been brought to you by GUI, the IoT lighting people. Remember, you can get all the latest lighting news globally, 24 hours a day at luxreview.com. I'm Courtney Ferguson for Lux Today. We'll see you back here at the same time next week.